Listen, we're gonna make a bet now, okay? Come on, hurry up. It's Sit dark. down. It's dark in here. Come on, don't fall asleep. Okay, we bet, what time is it? 8.40. That in, let's say, 12 hours, all three of you are gonna be <laughs> kaput, okay? What? You bet that you'll be alive tomorrow at 9 o'clock, and we bet that you'll be dead. Okay? They don't want to bet. Well, it's not an option. There has to be a bet. I mean, what do you think? You think they stand a chance? You're on their side, aren't you? Who are you betting on, hmm? But, wait, what kind of bet is this? If they're dead, they can't live up to their side. And if they win, they can't live either. Yes, they'll lose either way, that's what I'm saying. Stop this nonsense. You trying to scare us? Haven't you done enough already? What do you want? You want, you want money? Well, take it, take it. Take what, take what you want, just get out. Okay. But don't you think Fred and Eve are going to come over here and see what's happening? And then they're going to give us a thorough spanking, right? Okay. So, the bet is on. Like they say on TV. Let's make a deal. What time is it? After 11. We should think about winning our bet, don't you? Mm. In fact, we should be very grateful to little Georgie here for helping us out so much. One for Beavis. One for Butthead. Okay. So who do you want to start with? With her? Good. Now I'll get something to eat. Also throwing his name into contention. We haven't talked about it, but Blake Bjork. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Blake Bjork was our most recent winner of Salem. Well, Ellie qualified back deeper in the field. His heart was not good talking to Blake yesterday. He said, I'm just not happy, but man, he's come alive here. Right now, he is drafting with 61 of Salem Wallace. Does anyone want anything? Hmm? When you're counting, you don't kill the person who's counted out. You kill the one left over. What's wrong with you? You try to run away. Guess so what? That's no reason to get trigger happy. Don't you have any sense of timing? What time is it? Almost 12. Shit. They're spent. Come on. Let's get out of here. Player one, level two. Damn it. Good morning, Captain. Good morning. Where's the person you're praying to, hmm? They're up there, right? So pray up there. And now, Anne, <laughs> from the bottom of your heart,
Beavis, can, can you help me out here? No! Oh, God. You got me all my life. Please. Keep me safe all through the night. Bravo. That was fantastic. Okay, that was the test run. Now we're going to go for the Olympic gold. If you can say this little, unfortunately, much too short of a prayer backwards with no mistakes, not only will you be able to decide which one of you bites it first, but also, and I'm sure this is going to interest you even more, with which device whether it's the fast and almost painless big gun, or the slow, drawn out. Look out! <laughs> where's, the, where's the remote control? Where's the fucking remote control? Okay, that was the test run. Now we're gonna go for the Olympic gold. If you can say this little, unfortunately, much too short of a prayer backwards with no mistakes. Not only will you be able to decide which one of you bites it first, but also, and I'm sure this is going to interest you even more, with which device, whether it's the fast and almost painless big gun, or the slow, drawn out... You shouldn't have done that, Anne. You're not allowed to break the rules. I'm sorry. You failed. Say goodbye to Georgie. Ciao, Bella. Why? The deadline was nine. She had almost another hour. Well, it's too difficult to say I like this. First of all. Second of all, I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Sorry to bother you so early, ma'am. But Anne sent me. Yes? <laughs> you don't remember me, do you? We met yesterday at the dock. Paul. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Anne sent me over because some guest dropped by and she was wondering if you could help her out with some eggs. Well, I guess so. It's okay? Yeah, come on in. Just wait a second. <laughs> 